Two intruders forced their way into a home on Detroit's west side before opening fire, killing one man. And as Sean Lay reports, a woman was also inside and hid in the closet before calling for help. If the city of Detroit has emergency demo funds, they could spend a lot of them right here on Chatham Street at Pilgrim on the city's west side. It's one burned out house after another. It's one of these vacant homes, the site of a homicide early this morning. A mom on a neighboring street heard so many shots, she had to grab her small children and hit the floor. I heard a lot of gunshots and I jumped up. I immediately, because I was watching TV downstairs, I grabbed my children and just rushed them all to the floor and we stayed in the hallway for a while. Taking cover on a Sunday morning in the city's Brightmoor neighborhood, it's something Latoya Powell's is sick of having to do after another deadly shooting nearby. Just after four this morning, police say several men fired shots inside a vacant home here. A 21-year-old man was hit several times, and he was dead on the scene. A woman also inside this vacant home hid in a closet. She called 911 to say men were breaking into the home and were firing weapons. This entire stretch of Chatham is one wide open, burned out vacant home after another. Powell's says they're attracting so much crime, the houses need to go. Yes, it's very dangerous and to be people inside of them homes. It's a lot of drugs, you know, a lot of people on drugs over here in this neighborhood. It's been like that for a while. Detroit police, they continue to investigate this morning's shooting from Detroit's west side. Sean Lay, Local 4.